Sure. Just waiting for some hands to get raised, and we start off with uh, Ira Winderman. Bam, I know there have been tough points and tough stretches in the season, but twice in the fourth quarter, you guys got up by 10 points uh, after Duncan's three and after Tyler's three. What happened from there, and, and how did it happen to have a 10-point lead so late? Where do you think it went wrong in particular? Thank you. We got to uh, gotta contain our matchup. We got to guard our yard. <clears throat> and that's really what it was. Do you think it was all in the defensive end? Yeah, for sure. We got to get stops. I mean, that, that's what it's bottom line. You know, you can play as much offense as you want, but you have to get stops. At the end, the, the way Malik was shooting, I, I think in a three-point game, most would have figured he would at least try to get the shot in that situation. What happened on that play at the end of regulation that he still found enough space from the left side to get the shot that tied it? Uh, he made the shot. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to really find that the man was having a great game. So, Was there anything on the coverage, though, or something where he was a focus, or was it just a matter of he just shook free and was just sort of... Ah, tough shot. Okay. Thank you, man. Uh, next, we have Anthony Cheng. Hey, Ben. When, when you say guard your yard, I know that was um, kind of something you guys used during the playoffs in the bubble last year, too, when, when you guys faced situations where a team maybe targeted certain guys on the team. What could be done in those, you know, in, in those situations as far as offering those guys help? Or at that point, like you said, is it on them to stay, to stay in front of their guy? All right, we just got to guard, man. Like I said earlier, we just got to guard our matchups, stay in front of them, and uh, we can shrink as much as we want. But at the end of the day, we got to guard our yard. And then I, I know the defense is kind of designed to give up a lot of three-point attempts, um, but teams are making them a lot uh, this year. What, what have you seen on that end that maybe has been different this season as far as just defending the three-point line? Uh, you know, the NBA is just getting more... Difficult, difficult to figure out skin, man. Um, <clears throat> we gotta kind of got our yard. I mean, it, it, it's just boiling down to defense at, at, at this point. Like our defense has to be so good that we can have a bad shooting night and still, you know, I feel like the past couple of games we've been banking on our offense way too much to get us over the hump. We, we need to get stops. Uh, next, we have Tim Reynolds. Bam, so what, what is missing on the defensive end? Obviously, you guys are practicing less. There's no shoot-arounds this year just because of the schedule situation. Is it just a matter of getting guys back into a rhythm? Is it effort? I mean, what what would you put your finger on as to why the defense isn't there, especially at critical times? I mean, it, it, it's been multiple things. You know, it's been not enough communication. You know, not not enough multiple efforts. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we we miss a shot, and you know the brushes. You you somebody yelling at the ref, and they get a layup. You know, it, it, we just gotta stay locked in for forty eight minutes on the defensive end. You know, communicate multiple efforts. We can't get frustrated with the referees. You know, we gotta lock in. Thank you, Bam. Uh, next, we have Mateo Mayorga. Hello, Bam. Do you think you were assertive enough looking for your shot in overtime tonight? Do I think I was assertive? Yes. Do you think you were uh, looking for your, your shot enough? Uh, I feel like you know, Jimmy had it going. But, uh, I feel like I'm going to be more assertive. You know, since you, you asked that, I feel like I could have been more assertive. Thank you. All right. That's it, Bam. Thank you. That's all that matters, people.